Hey, I recently discovered a video on YouTube where they said that the Cisco CCNA courses available on Udemy are not worth even the low prices that you get charged there. In this video, I'm going to explain why CCNA courses on Udemy are worth it and I'm also going to name and shame an internet marketer who's trying to grab your money. Okay, let's go. Now, it's only fair if I explain who I am first. So I've done a search on Udemy for CCNA and you can see I'm here, I've got the highest rated course. My CCNA course has got an average review rating of 4.9 from a little under 2000 students. There's other courses on here that are also very popular. For example, Chris Bryant's course. There's also Lazaro Diaz and David Bombal as well. So I'm an established Udemy instructor. So that's, that's where I'm coming from as I make this video. Okay, so let's have a look at the YouTube video. This is it. It is called CCNA or any Udemy courses are not worth it. This is why. And it's from a guy called Jorge Navarro who owns Network Engineer Academy. So Jorge has made this video. It's nearly 20 minutes long. And when I found this, I thought I was interested. I thought, great, because it's always good to hear feedback and criticism because that helps me see what I'm doing wrong and make better courses for you. So I was very interested to get some useful information from this video, but that's not really how it worked out. So what happens in the video is Jorge doesn't actually give his explanation of why Udemy courses are not worth it until pretty much a whole 10 minutes into the video. This is a common marketing trick where you create an information gap and you say that you're going to give some really interesting information, but you don't get there until later to keep people watching. So, spoiler alert, if you don't want to have to watch all this video, Jorge's reason that the Udemy courses are not worth it is that they may be good technically, but they don't tell you how to communicate and how to market yourself on a business level, how to actually, actually get a job as a CCNA. So I saw that and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm interested. I wonder what Jorge's actual way of communicating at a business level is. And this video is at a business level because he is trying to persuade you to be a customer of his. Actually, the whole point of him making this video is that he's trying to sell his CCNA coaching program. He's trying to, to get you to buy that rather than buy one of the courses on Udemy. And you might think that's a bit strange because me, myself, I never ever criticize other instructors. I actually recommend them. Everybody learns in different ways. And if you don't love my particular style, I'll tell you, go and get Chris Bryant's course. It's great. Go and get David Bombal's course. It's also excellent on Udemy. There's not just Udemy. Some of my other favorite instructors are Brian McGann at INE, Internet Work Expert. Also, Jeremy Shiora at CBT Nuggets. They're brilliant. And there's loads of other great instructors out there at INE, at CBT Nuggets, at Udemy and other places as well. So why is Jorge putting down other instructors and trying to kind of frog march you into buying his course. Well, I'll get to that in a second. Oh, I'm, just, I'm creating an information gap. That's what I just said I shouldn't do. But honestly, I'll get there in just one second. So first off, Jorge's reason for saying that Udemy courses are no good is because they don't teach you how to communicate at a business level. So let's see how Jorge does actually communicate on a business level, like in this video. So just imagine for a moment that I'm actually interviewing Jorge for a job. He showed up for a, jo for a job interview. And let's do the job interview right now. <clears throat> Hi, Jorge. Thanks very much for coming in for interview today. I appreciate you taking the time. I can see here from your resume that you actually teach people yourself about how to behave and communicate in interviews. 
What do you actually tell your students to say in interviews? Tell fucking stories in a way that you're gonna fucking influence the entire interview process since the moment you pick up the phone all the way through the fucking face-to-face -face interview. Tell me. Tell me. You have no fucking idea. Wow. Okay, thanks, Jorge. But I think I'll get my interview advice from somebody who's just a little bit more professional. Okay, so one of Horgy's big arguments is that the Udemy courses are not worth it. They don't provide value. Well, you can get my course for $10. I'll put a coupon code in the description below so you can get it for that bargain price. Let's compare that to how much Horgy's coaching program is, which was the whole point of him making that video to try and sell that to you. So if I go to his website, it's networkengineeracademy.com, and I have to hand it to him, he is a brilliant internet marketer. His sales and marketing is really top notch. So this is the sales page for his coaching program. And you can see that he employs a lot of the other techniques that internet marketers do. Like, you have to wait five minutes before you can see how much this is going to cost. This is a typical technique where somebody's going to charge you something, which if you saw it up front, you'd think that's a completely insane price. Why would anybody pay this much for it? So it gives them time to try to persuade you that this is a great program and have you willing to pay anything for it. So you do have to wait five minutes. You can scroll down on this great big long, really well-designed sales page that really tries to strong arm you into taking this coaching program. And after five minutes, you will be able to see the price. So like I said, you can get my course, the highest rated CCNA course online for $10. So I wonder how much Jorge's one is. Let's have a look. $2,000. Wow. So my course is $10. His coaching program is $2,000 but apparently it provides better value. Okay, so how can, we, how can we kind of evaluate that? Well, we could compare teaching credentials, right? So let's have a look at my LinkedIn profile. This is publicly available, by the way. Anybody can look at this. You can come have a look as well. And I'd love it if you wanted to connect with me on LinkedIn. So if we go down here, you can see that I've got over 20 years experience in networking and we come down a bit further. You can also see that I've been a professional Cisco instructor for over 10 years. I've had my CCIE for coming on to 12 years now and I've got also all of the other CCNP and CCDP qualifications in pretty much every track as well as, well as other vendors qualifications as well. So that's me. If you have a look at the other instructors on Udemy, like Chris Bryant and David Bombal, they've actually been in the game for even longer than me. And I've learned stuff from them before. They're great instructors also on Udemy. Let's have a look at Jorge's LinkedIn profile. So you can see in here, he is the CEO and founder of Network Engineer Academy. The only other networking experience that he lists on here is as a lead technical engineer from May 2014, so just a few years. Now, maybe it's not showing here. Maybe he does have a lot of networking experience. It seems strange that he wouldn't want to list all of his networking experience on LinkedIn, though. And if we look down at his featured skills and endorsements, I can see he's got Network Plus, Security Plus, and CCNA routing and switching from the look of this. Again, maybe there's more, but that's all that's listed here. Now, to give you an, an analogy, if I was going to be a bomb disposal expert, when I was in training, I would want to learn from the guy that's been in bomb disposal for 20 years, who's already been in war zones defusing bombs and he's lasted 20 years and he's still alive to tell the tale. I'm not going to choose the guy that finished in the class one before me to teach me how to defuse bombs. That would be crazy, right? Now, you might think, okay, but Neil, that's like bomb disposal. This is CCNA. It's not life and death. But really, your CCNA, if you're going to be a network engineer, that's the foundation of your career, which is going to last for decades. So this is super important. You don't want to learn it from somebody that 
but it's just got the minimum qualifications but doesn't have any more experience than that you want to learn from somebody who's a really experienced teacher who's been a professional network engineer for a long time so you can take the Udemy courses from people who've been CCIEs for over a decade who've been in networking for over 20 years you can get that for ten dollars or you can take the two thousand dollar option from the CCNA I know which one that I am going to take so my advice is to have a look on Udemy at the courses from myself also Chris Bryant, David Bombal, Laz Diaz and all the other CCNA instructors there. There's also other options like Internet Work Expert and CBT Nuggets, although they are a little bit more expensive. Check them all out and then figure out which one is the best fit for you and that's the one to take. Actually, if you're getting courses from Udemy, there's a good chance that you could take more than one because the price is so good. Please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear back about what you think is the best CCNA course online. Also, let me know if I've been unfair to Jorge in any way. Maybe you have sat training with him and he's been the best instructor you've ever had. And it turns out that he actually is a CCIE and he does have decades worth of network experience. If that is the case, do let me know and I will correct this. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover here. You can click the link that's above my head to download my free 400-page CCNA lab guide. It will let you get hands-on practice with Cisco routers and switches, and it all runs in free software on your laptop. I show you how to set it all up as well. Okay, that's it. See you in the next one.